So today, we're not only going to practice how to say hello in Swahili, but we're going to remember how to say hello in Japanese from last week. First, we're going to say it in Swahili, and then we're going to say it in Japanese. Are you ready? On three, we're going to say it in Swahili. Habari. And now, on two in Japanese. Konnichiwa. By the end of 15 weeks, you should be able to say hello and goodbye in the 15 languages from my book, I Can. At the end of this video, we will practice saying goodbye in Swahili and in Japanese. Stay tuned. Today's read is 10 Hungry Rabbits by Anita Lobo. Mama Rabbit was sad. I have nothing to put in my soup pot for dinner, she sighed. But Mama, whined ten little rabbits, we are very, very, very hungry. There is the garden, said Papa Rabbit. You are sure to find good things for Mama's soup pot there. Ten little rabbits agreed, and off they hopped. One, the first rabbit, found one big purple cap. Two, the second rabbit pulled up two white onions. Three, the third rabbit broke off three yellow peppers. Four, the fourth rabbit picked four red tomatoes. Five, the fifth rabbit dug up five pink potatoes. Six, the sixth rabbit yanked up six orange carrots. Mm, seven, the seventh rabbit spotted seven brown mushrooms. Eight, the eighth rabbit gathered eight blueberries. Nine. The ninth rabbit saw nine green peas in a pod. Ten. The tenth rabbit remembered the ten black peppercorns in his pocket. Here comes dinner, cried ten hungry little rabbits. What nice rabbits we have, said Mama. What strong rabbits they are, said Papa. Papa Rabbit sliced vegetables. Ten hungry rabbits waited. Mama Rabbit cooked soup. Ten hungry rabbits waited. The rabbit family sat down to bowls of delicious vegetable soup. Mmm. The happy rabbits were hungry no more. The end. Today's fun fact is about the wriggly caterpillars. Look closely at a plant and you may see a caterpillar wriggling up a stem or chewing holes in a leaf. Very soon it will change into something amazing. Did you know not all caterpillars become butterflies? Some turn into moths. Number one, butterflies lay their eggs on plants. Number two, caterpillars eat lots of leaves. Number three, then a chrysalis. A hard case protects the caterpillar while it is changing. And number four, and finally, a butterfly or a moth. And now we will say goodbye in Japanese and Swahili. Are you ready? 
First, we're going to say it in Japanese and then Swahili. On three. Sayonara. Kwaheri.